Let's talk about AI and is it good? Is it bad for artists? So in terms of the AI stuff, the positives are really good and can be really bad. Um, I've watched a couple of videos now um, talking about the situation in depth and um, people's concerns, people's problems with it. And um, I've kind of want, I, I only watched the reels to kind of compile my thoughts together to figure out like, is this a good thing for people and who is it good for and who is it not good for? And I'm doing this video in a vlogging way because I have a lot of errands to run today and don't really have time to record in the studio. So just doing it like this. Hope you guys like it better. Now, when it comes to AI, um, it's definitely helped me in terms of a lot of programs that I use. For instance, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, even Photoshop, Photoshop, where it can help you remove a background or add captions to a video. Um, so in my opinion, AI can be more so used as a tool than something that's going to replace artists altogether. And um, I'm gonna give you guys some examples for sketch artists, because I know that's the ones that are hurting the most from these AI generated pictures that people are getting. And I think they can be used in a way where um, it can maybe give you alternatives for your pictures to give to clients. Um, also, a lot of times clients may get these pictures, but they don't necessarily uh, get what they're looking for all the time. All, a lot of these AI generated things are great, but they're not perfect right they're not they can't and they can't perfect it for you so a lot of people will get these stuff but they'll still go back to the artist to get something that's more geared towards them when i see all these ai generated pictures they all kind of look alike or am i just crazy i do feel like with all the ai driven content there's always seems to be always a discussion when technology goes to another level. And I do believe that these discussions are important because there needs to be put some, these, there needs to be boundaries, right? In order to create those boundaries, discussions need to be had where um, these stuff don't go out of hand. Um, for instance, I hear a lot of people talk about how the AI is stealing images from the internet using uh, sort of like uh, companies that have like images stored from all around the internet and they're using those images, those companies and those companies images to create the AI portraits and whatnot. And that seems to bother a lot of people. Uh, which is something that needs to be discussed. Also, uh, conversations about um, a lot of the inappropriate AI generated art that comes out. Um, it seems to be, there's a lot of nudity within that. So that's not good for, great for kids or people who are more um, cons conservative, right? So that needs, those stuff need to be talked about. Those stuff need to be addressed, critiqued, so that way it could be um, done properly. Just like when people were critiquing social media, right? And the rise of influencers. These things, these, these conversations need to happen to get better, right? But I don't think it's the end of art at all. Is this a new tool to use to benefit us artists where they're you're a digital artist, photographer, or videographer. And me as a photographer, um, I see a lot of people using programs such as Luminar Neo or Luminar AI, AI to edit, retouch their images. And I think that's a 
great tool to use to speed up your process and get things done on a more timely manner. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I think the problem is, is when there's no conversation and no boundaries put on, on new things, new technology, because then it gets out of hand and then it's out of control and that becomes a problem altogether. So definitely the conversations need to be had um, so that way these companies who are creating these AI stuff can understand where the people are coming from when it comes to all this work, when it comes to all this, you know, AI driven stuff. So yeah, definitely that's my take on the whole AI um, conversation. Um, obviously the cons I've already listed there where, you know, just AI going out of control in terms of, you know, maybe going too much. So for instance, when it comes to photography, um, say like people use the AI programs to deceive people in terms of like how, how their body looks and which kind of sets a precedent on social media for young impressionable girls who see that and they're like, oh, I don't look like that. But they don't know that's like AI created, um, that fixed a girl's body in, in video or made them look, you know, or that whole debacle with web deep fakes, you know, um, it's conversations need to be had and, you know, boundaries need to be created. Um, and these companies need to be critiqued. So yeah, I do think this is, we're, we're on the right step, but don't threat. You know, don't feel weary that this stuff is going to destroy your career as an artist. It's just a, another tool, but you just have to find a way to use that tool. Just the same way people you find a way to use social media. How do you people find a way to use um, uh, Photoshop or any new technology that gets developed? And also, let's. There's been, uh, I guess, a concern where I was hearing that uh, people were kind of concerned about like the algorithm taking the information of your facial structure and kind of using it in future tech of some sort. And my whole ideology behind that or thought process behind that is to basically, that's how tech works. <laughs> like when you first started experimenting with social media, that's exactly what happened. Um, people are taking information and using it to develop other technology. That's just the way tech works. But like I said previously, you know, there just needs to be more critique so that way boundaries are created and rules and regulations. And, you know, that way we can have a very safe evolution of tech. Yeah. See you guys in the next video. But yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to see more videos like this. Um, and also behind the scenes videos so that way I can give you guys more um, tips on photography, editing, and then just have general conversations like this. So yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel, helps out me. And see you guys in the future. This may be my last video of the year. I'm not too sure. But um, yeah. See you guys in the New Year's and happy holidays.